So let's look at the first question. The first question is if in a wheat mutant the length of chromosome 1b was found to be 6.7 micrometer instead of 5 micrometer approximately how many additional base pairs are incorporated in the mutant chromosome and we are given four options. So to solve this question we must first of all know what is the distance between the two base pairs if this is DNA right so the distance between two base pairs for example this is AT one base pair and this is CG another base pair so the distance between the two base pairs are 0.34 nanometer which if we change this value into micrometer it comes out to be 3.4 into 10 raised to power minus 4 micrometer so if we just incorporate one base pair this much is the increase in length so we have given the increase in length and we have to find out the number of base pair which has been incorporated so we can solve it like this 3.4 into 10 raised to power minus 4 micrometer is the increase in length if we incorporate one base pair so if we are given that increase in length is 1.7 micrometer so how many base pair has been incorporated so that is equal to 1.7 upon 3.4 into 10 raised to power minus 4 and these are the number of base pair and that comes out to be 0 0.5 into 10 to the power 4 base pair. So by applying simple unitary method we can reach to the conclusion. So now let's look at the option. As we can see here this is the first option and this is the correct one. So now let's move on to the next question. The next question is considering following characteristic identify the correct inheritance pattern from the given options. Most affected individuals are male. Affected son result from female parents who are either affected or who are known to be carriers because they have affected brothers, fathers or maternal uncles. Affected daughters are born to affected fathers and either affected or carrier mothers. Next one. The sons of the affected mothers should be affected. Approximately half the number of sons of the carrier mother should be affected. So which inheritance pattern show these five characteristic? So these five characteristic are shown by sex linked recessive inheritance. Yes, please remember this shown by sex linked recessive inheritance and to give you an example example would be color blindness. So you know it's sex linked that means it's X linked right. So you know it's X linked recessive I'm talking about color blindness color blindness right. So here we know that female has XX and male has XY chromosome as their sex chromosome. So this is female and this is male. A female will be affected when both the chromosomes are affected. So this is a normal female, this is a carrier female and this is the affected female. So only this is the affected female. Whereas the male will be affected even if one of the X chromosome is faulty or the X chromosome is carrying the faulty gene because male carries only one X chromosome. So this means this XY is the normal male whereas this XCY is the affected male. That means males are having higher chances of being affected as compared to females because for females to be affected both the chromosomes need to carry the faulty gene whereas males can be affected only by carrying one faulty gene because they have just one X chromosomes right. Now what is the inheritance pattern? Inheritance pattern is that if the mother is carrier and the father is affected then the female is going to be affected XC XC otherwise but a male will be affected a male can be affected even if 
mother is a carrier and father is normal so in this kind of a cross just a carrier mother and a normal father x c y will produce an affected male right so if we just go back to the features yes we can see that most of the affected individuals are males affected son result from female parent who are either affected or who are known to be carriers right so even a carrier mother can have affected male child and affected daughters will be born to only affected fathers as well as the mother has to be at least a carrier the sons of affected mother should be affected because female or the mother contributes the x chromosome and affected female has both the faulty x chromosome so she is going to definitely deliver the faulty x chromosome to the male child but if the female is only a carrier then 50% of her sons can be affected and 50% can be normal so we know the answer is sex linked inheritance so the answer is c here sex linked recessive inheritance and the example is color blindness and also hemophilia coming to the next one next question in a marine ecosystem with rich diversity of fauna which of the following images would be correct representation of pyramid of biomass and we know that pyramid of biomass is otherwise upright but in case of marine ecosystem it is inverted so let's look at the option where the it is in inverted and it is the d option yes it is the d option where it is inverted so the correct answer will be d inverted is the right answer why inverted because these are the primary producer and these are the phytoplanktons phytoplanktons these are the zooplanktons these are small fishes and these are large fishes large fishes right these are also small fishes so we know that the small biomass of phytoplanktons is feeding the large biomass of zooplankton similarly the small biomass of zooplankton is feeding the large biomass of fishes and how is it possible because the multiplication rate of phytoplanktons is much higher than the zooplankton similarly the multiplication rate of the zooplankton is much higher than the small fishes and same is the case with large fishes so here many generations of phytoplanktons are being consumed by a single generation of zooplankton and many generation of zooplankton is being consumed by the single generation of fishes so it's because of the high multiplication rate that it is possible for the small biomass to feed the large biomass coming to the next question